Climate change is one of the critical issues for the Pacific Island countries, particularly in the coral atolls like Tuvalu, Kiribati, and the Marshall Islands, where those atolls have the highest point in those atolls, maybe only two meters. In Tuvalu, should we experience a sea level rise of one meter, an additional one meter on top of the 20 centimeters that we have already experienced, we would lose more than 90% of the existing land area in Tuvalu. So the capital of Fanafuki would be mostly underwater. Climate change is going to be, is a problem that we'll have to deal with in the Pacific Island countries for many years to come. We need people, we need professionals who understand the problem, we need negotiators who understand the problem, and we need people on the ground who have experience at developing climate resilient communities for those areas. So it's been critical, I think, in places like Tuvalu, where we were, where the residents of Tuvalu were experiencing a king tide, a very high tide that comes with the full moon only once or twice a lifetime. Now those tides are occurring two or three times in a season. In places like the Marshall Islands, where we just had the Majro Declaration for Climate Leadership, we had a drought emergency. So in the outer islands, the communities lost their breadfruit. They lost the crops upon which they depend. They had to deploy emergency um, desalinization plants to be able to supply sufficient water. And the quantities of water that these communities are, are consuming are incredibly small to begin with, but there were skin diseases, health problems, all sorts of things associated with that. And then in June, we had the supermoon. And the supermoon meant that there was a storm surge that began to eat away at the runway in Majuro. Flights were canceled for at least two days, and the supplies could not get in.